students you know that this is a challenging period our country is battling with the deadly coronavirus i will ask you to stay at home and use this period of lockdown for studies i am here with another topic use of scales in determination of age of fish use of scales for determination of age of fish is the topic for today because knowledge of age of fish is very essential for fisheries management as the fish ages it grows but after attaining a particular size growth stops age gives an idea about sexual maturity of the fish its spawning time its catchable size its growth rate and longevity all these knowledges all these parameters are very much essential in fisheries for better produce knowledge of age and growth of fish has many applications that i have given you in this slide again it is about sexual maturity or spawning time or catchable size etc that gives the benefit to the production in fisheries we can use the scales for determination of age of a fish and this is scale method for determination of age of a fish is very much fruitful for the bony fishes astigates these are provided with cycloid and tenoid scales if you know the structure of a scale if you know the development of it then you can easily interpret the growth zones and with the help of this you can determine the age of the fish a mature scale a well developed scale has special structures with which you can determine the age of the fish let us see those structures the first one is the focus focus is the clear area in the center of the scale it might be shifted from the center due to irregular growth of anterior or posterior parts of the scale caused by unusual overlapping of scales second structure is circular these are concentric rings present around the focus they are in parallel at regular intervals or distances and appear as ridges third structure these are grooves that are found between the ridges of circuli and are responsible for maintaining the regular spaces between the circuli fourth structure radii that are grooves found radially they run from focus to margin of scales and cut the circuli present in their path fifth one is annuli these annuli are white circular troughs found in aged fish over one year each trough contains a few incomplete and narrow circuli different from circuli outside it these are complete and more widely spaced the number of annuli represents the age of a fish in years here are the images that will clear your idea about focus circuli annuli radii etc here we are using the mentioned structures in determination of the age of fish how to do it with the help of these scales at the time of development of a scale focus is established first and represents the original size of the scale but as the scale grows older other structures are added up and they do their own functions the grooves and circuli represent growth activity also 
indicate osteoblastic activities as a result of which secreted material is deposited around the focus. In this way, every year many such circuli and grooves are formed. A characteristic bone material is deposited in circuli and thus their height increases which depends on calcification. Annuli shows slow growth in a year, but in many fishes, during winters, annuli grow remarkably and are added yearly as fish grows. These annuli are very useful in counting the age of fish and serves as earmarks on the scale for age determination. Annuli are best seen at the anterior part of the scale. Thus, annuli actually is the structure which is giving us the idea of the age of the fish. These annuli could be of different types. I am talking about true annuli as well as false annuli. True annuli they have following characteristic features. In cycloid scales, true annuli is represented by closely situated circuli which is covered by widely spaced circuli. Two complete circuli surround the trough which is wider on the anterolateral and posterior side. The wide part of the trough contains incomplete circuli that do not grow completely around the scale. The last one is the trough remains narrow at the anterolateral side. In the tenoid scales especially, the outer circulus cuts across or crosses over the incomplete circuli lying in the anterior part of the trough. In this slide, you can see focus circuli that are making annulus, first annulus, second annulus that tell about the age of the fish. This scale is talking about a two year old fish. Application of a scale method is very much useful for the temperate regions. In those regions, the scales of the fishes show clear rings that are the true marks for the age. This is because there is a sharp difference between the temperatures of two seasons, summer which is the period of faster growth and winter the period of slow growth or no growth at all. Therefore. The calculation of the age of fish by annuli is most reliable in temperate fish. But there are limitations of the scale method too. Sometimes more than one annulus are added in the extreme conditions of life. Extreme cold or scarcity of food, starvation at the time of spawning, all these may cause additional ring formation that becomes supplementary rings causing problem in age determination by the scale method. Not only this, this method cannot be applied to those fishes which live in the water with more or less uniform temperatures, especially in the tropical regions. This may be because of these places fishes spawn more than once and due to fluctuations in food and chemical compositions of water due to rain and floods, formation of annulus may not be an annual feature. Here is the tenoid scale giving you the idea of the structure of the scale. And another picture is talking about the presence of annulus 
determining the age of the fish. Thank you, my dear students. Kindly prepare your notes according to these slides. And this will be another assignment from my side.